Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. So today I'm bringing to you a project that I absolutely adore and I absolutely loved making it. So this is a cardigan and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love it. So the free pattern is as always on my blog selinaveronique.com. The link is in the description box. And this is a really easy crochet project to make. So I made it with um, this yarn, which is actually um, Yarnspirations Caron Latte Cakes. And um, the shade, this is a different shade. So the shade that I used is called Coconut Cream. And I used under two skeins, so this is what I have left of my second skein, which is a lot. And I used a 7mm and a 6.5mm crochet hook, so I used both hooks. And you will also be needing a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors, and that's it. So this is a really easy crochet project to make. It's kind of oversized. I will be making a size S for this tutorial, um, for the video, but the pattern is inclusive and um, includes sizes S to triple XL. So don't forget to check that out on my blog and all the details um, about this project are also in the description box so you can check the links. Yes, so I hope you enjoy this really easy tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will be using US terms and without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so for this part of the project, um, the beginning, I'm going to show you the back of the cardigan. So how to crochet the back panel. And I'm also going to show you how to crochet both um, front panels also. So I'm just going to start with the back panel and then I'll show you the two front panels. So to begin this, um, this back panel, you will be uh, making a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through and tighten. So for the back panel, for size S, you will be chaining 51. So um, if you are interested in making a different size, just go ahead and look at my pattern on my blog, selinaveronique.com. The link is in the down bar for all the different sizes up to, I think it's triple XL. So just go ahead and check that out. So for now, I'm just going to show you size S, but the principle will be the exact same. It will be only the number of ch um, uh, base chains that will um, change from size to size. So just go ahead and chain 51. One, two, three. I've chained a smaller sample, but the principle is the exact same. So um, you should have 51 chains. So now you are going to be ch um, counting one, two, three, and four chains from the hook. I'm just going to zoom in. There we go. So count four chains from the hook, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that chain space and create a double crochet. So pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. Now you are going to take your yarn and pull through two loops. Take your yarn and pull through two loops and this is your first double crochet. And the first chain three here counts as a double crochet also. So now you are simply going to be going into the next chain and placing a double crochet into that. And into the next chain and placing a double crochet into that. And into the next chain and just go ahead and place a double crochet into each and every chain until the end of this row and obviously you will have more double crochets than me 
Okay, so I finished row one and this is what I have. So now for row two, you are simply going to be chaining three, one, two and three. This counts as your first double crochet. Turn your work. So we are going to be going directly into the second stitch and placing a double crochet into that. And then go into the third stitch and place another double crochet into that. And just place a double crochet into each and every double crochet from the previous row until you reach the end of this row. And then I'll show you what to do at the end of this row. So I've almost finished this row. I've got um, this chain three here. I need to put a double crochet into. So just go ahead and place a double crochet into this last chain three because the chain three from the previous row counts as a double crochet. So this is row two and we will be um, repeating row two over and over until we have 34 rows total um, for the back panel. So chain three and this is simply a repeat of row two. So this counts as our first double crochet. We're going to go directly into the second stitch and place a double crochet into that and into the next stitch and place a double crochet into that and just carry on with this row like I've just showed you so like I said this is just a repeat of row two so repeat row two until you have 34 rows in total and once you have 34 rows just fasten off and then I'll show you how to do the front panel so the front panels so We've finished um, the back panel and now I'm just going to explain how to crochet the front panels. So I have two front panels, I'm going to show you on camera. And so um, for each panel you will be chaining um, 27 and just repeat the process that I've just explained. So what I explained for um, the back panel is the exact same thing that you will be doing for your two front panels except you will be um, chaining 27. Again this is for a size S. Don't forget to check the number of chains that you need for the different sizes. So yeah, just go ahead, chain 27 and create your rows of double crochet until you have um, 34 rows also in total. And I'll get back to you to show you how to sew um, the front and the back panel together. So don't forget, so to recap, just go ahead and create both your front panels and then once you finish creating them, fasten off just fasten off and then I'll show you how to crochet the sleeves. So for the sleeves, um, I've got two sleeves of course. The principle is the exact same as what I explained for the back panel. And so for each sleeve you will be chaining 51. So just chain 51 and then we will be um, we will have 17 rows in total for each sleeve and this is what it's going to look like and this is how we will be folding them but again I will be um, showing you this in more detail once you've finished um, all the parts. So yes, so you should have two sleeves and like I said chain 51 and then you should have 17 rows in total and then once you've finished all the parts of your cardigan I'll show you how to assemble it and finish it. So this is one of my sleeves so to begin the assembling of our cardigan we will be starting by um, sewing up the seams of each sleeve. So this is what one of my sleeve looks like you're just going to fold this in two like so and we are simply going to be um, stitching this um, seam for now on both the sleeves and to do so I've just got my um, long tail that I've left for sewing I've popped my tapestry needle through 
I'm going to, um, you don't need a long tail if you don't have one, that's okay. Just attach a piece of yarn onto one corner of the project. So I've just gone through one side and now I'm just going to go straight into the other side and we are going to sew up this um, seam with the mattress stitch. So just go ahead and use the mattress stitch to sew your seam together. So just go ahead and do that. And um, yes, just do this, go in and out until you reach the top of um, the sleeve, which is here. So just seam all of this together and I'll show you what to do once we reach the end of the seam. I've uh, just finished my sleeve, so I've sewed both my sleeves actually and this is what they look like. And this is my second sleeve and with the seam here. So I'm really happy with how these sleeves look and we're just going to pop these aside until um, we need them and now we are simply going to start stitching the body of the cardigan. Okay so you are going to be placing the back of your cardigan flat on a surface so I'm just going to place it like this so you can see what I'm doing. And um, of course there are plenty of photographs on my blog, selinaveronique.com, so I'll invite you to look at those. And you are going to be placing your front panels directly on top of um, the um, back panel. And I'm going to be um, placing the stitches side at the top so that means that my chain side where we started the project so this is the um, beginning chain when we started the project this is going to be facing down and facing up is going to be the row where we finished so I just think it looks neater if um, we do this for each um, panel and now for this part of the cardigan we are simply going to be sewing the top here. So we are going to be sewing, so this is placed directly on top of the back panel and there is no space if that makes sense. This, these are um, stuck together if that makes sense and now I'm just going to uh, um, sew this top of the project. And So this is the shoulder part and this will be the front opening. So for this part of the project um, I've taken a piece of yarn which is quite long actually and I've popped it on my tapestry needle and I'm simply going to attach this piece of yarn to one of the corners, whichever corner you want. I'm just going to tie a double knot like so and now I'm simply going to stitch this part of the project um, again, using the mattress stitch, you can use whichever stitch you prefer, but this is just a stitch that I'm going to be using. So just go ahead and stitch this straight um, across, so you're not going to um, stop here, you're go just going to carry on stitching until you reach this part so just go all the way across like this until this part and then I'll show you what to do. Okay so I finished sewing this part of the project as you can see so I've tied um, a knot here and tidied up my loose ends and this is what we have and now we are simply going to be placing both our sleeves now onto the project and sewing them. So this is my first sleeve and I am going personally to place um, the side of the chains on the outside. So this is the side of um, the rows. I hope this makes sense. So this is where um, we started... Um, chaining and then we created the sleeve. I'm just going to pop that on the outside because it just um, 
is a bit tighter if that makes sense and I just think it looks um, nicer if I have the row side on um, the jumper side if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to show you how to sew the sleeve in. So to sew the sleeve in I'm going to attach my yarn here like so with a knot. I'm going to make another knot. And now I'm simply going to be sewing my sleeve in. So to slow my, sew my sleeve in, I'm going to again use this stitch. I hope you can see the mattress stitch. And what I am going to be doing is just seaming this side first. So I'll, um, I'll show you once I reach here, I'll come back on camera and show you what I do. But what this means is I'm gonna sew this side in and then just carry on sewing until I reach the bottom of the cardigan. And then once I finish that, I'll come back and sew the back of the sleeve in to the back of the cardigan. So um, yes, so what I am going to do is just sew this front side first and then once I reach the end of the sleeve I'll come back and show you what to do. So just sew this in up to here and then I'll show you what to do. So I've sewed this part so the front of the sleeve in and now I'm simply going to carry on so I'm not going to um, sew the whole sleeve in for now this is just my technique for sewing in a sleeve I just think it looks neater that way so I'm just going to carry on um, sewing this cardigan like so so just carry on um, sewing it up until you reach the bottom of um, this seam, then fasten off, and then I'll show you how I sew in the back of the sleeve. So I finished sewing um, this seam, and I've reached the bottom. So now I only need to sew the back of um, this sleeve, so I'm just gonna flip my cardigan round like this, and I'm gonna attach a piece of yarn to this part and it's very easy you are just simply going to um, to sew the back of the sleeve onto yeah together so just go ahead and do that so it's very simple just sew the back of the sleeve I like to go um, and insist on this part, so I hope you can see which is the underarm part, just to reinforce it. So I'm gonna go through that quite a few times because I just like this part which can be um, um, a bit fragile. So yeah, and now I'm just gonna go all the way up and then fasten off and tidy up my loose ends. And you are going to repeat this process on the other side and then I'll get back to you to show you what to do next. So now that we've um, completed all the stitching for this cardigan, I'm now going to show you how to do the borders. So to create the borders, um, this is gonna be a very simple border for the front and the bottom of the cardigan. And I do want to apologize about the lighting. However, um, the sun goes down really early at the moment in the UK, so this is why um, the, <laughs> the light is quite dark, so I do apologize for that. So yes, so to create your border, we are simply going to, I'm going to show you in detail, but we are going to attach our yarn here at the bottom, and then we're going to go up like this, and then we're going to go down the other side of the opening. And then we're not going to fasten off, we're going to carry on with the same border um, to do the border on the bottom of the cardigan until we reach the point where we began. So I'm going to show you in detail, I just wanted to show you um, 
the principle to begin with just so that it's nice and clear so with the seven millimeter crochet hook once again just pop it through just attach your yarn like this i am going to zoom in so don't, don't worry so attach your yarn create a double knot so this is what i have i've attached the yarn at the bottom of the cardigan just pop your hook through pull up a loop and that does not count as a stitch and now we are simply going to be creating a row of single crochets so i've just made a single crochet but to create your single crochet you are just going to go directly through um, the stitch pull up a loop and you've got two loops on your hook take your yarn and go through two loops and I am fastening in my loose end as I go so this is why there's a random piece of yarn here don't worry about it and because this is the wrong side of the stitches you are going to be trying to pop your um, single crochets as evenly as possible along this um, this row so um, the fact that um, there's no clear stitch means that um, this is the row side so there's no clear um, stitch however just pop your single crochets all the way along as evenly as you can you do not need a specific amount of single crochets for this just um, pop your single crochets all along the edge and like I showed you um, previously just go all the way around the front opening and then the bottom edging until you reach um, the starting point and then I'll show you what to do once you re reach this point so I'm just going to let you do your single crochets and I'll get back to you so I've gone around the whole card again and I'm going to slip stitch through the first single crochet that we made. So just pull up your loop like so. Take your scissors and slip off the yarn and pull it through like that. And there you go, we finished our um, edging and now I'm just going to show you how to create your sleeve edging. So I'm back and I finished um, doing the edging, so the edging on the front of the cardigan and this is what it looks like, it's absolutely gorgeous. So now I'm going to show you how to make your sleeve and I'm absolutely in love with this um, sleeve, well the sleeve cuff. So I did this last night on one sleeve and I'm just going to walk you through the second sleeve and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So for this part of the project you will be switching to the 6.5 millimeter crochet hook just to give um, the sleeve a bit of a snugger look. Um, so I'm going to attach the yarn, so just go into any stitch, so just go into any stitch and just attach your yarn like this. I'm going to be um, sewing in my loose ends as I go, as always, so please ignore the loose ends on this project. So this is the sleeve cuff. I'm going to try and show you as best I can on camera. So pop your hook into the project where you've popped your yarn. Take your yarn, like so, and chain one. And this counts as your first single crochet. And now what you are going to be doing is skipping the next stitch. Um, so this goes with this stitch here. So just, I know it's very fuzzy and you can't see, you know, I'm trying my best. But just skip the next stitch and go into the next stitch. So chain one, skip the next stitch and go into the next stitch with a single crochet. So just go ahead and place a single crochet into that. And now just skip the next stitch and go into the next 
with a single crochet so I've got even more um, loose ends to tie in but that's fine just just ignore those and then skip the next stitch and go into the next so what we are doing is um, tightening the arm uh, the um, sleeve skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet so this is what we are going to be doing is placing a single crochet skipping the next stitch and then going into the next single crochet uh, into the next stitch with a single crochet and then skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet so I'm just gonna let you carry this on um, all the way around and then I'll meet you back to show you how to complete this round okay so I've gone around the whole sleeve and as you can see it's tightened it and now to finish off this round I'm simply going to go into um, this um, loop the first chain one we created and create a slip stitch like so and now I'm going to show you how to do row two so for round well round two actually for round two you are going to chain three one two and three and this counts as our first um, double crochet and you are simply going to be placing double crochets all the way around this project so go into the next stitch and place a double crochet and go into the next stitch and place a double crochet and into the next stitch and I'll show you how to finish off this row um, at the end of this row so just round sorry so just go all the way around your sleeve and then I'll show you how to finish off this round so um, now we are going to be joining so I finished my row of um, double crochets and I'm simply going to slip stitch um, through the third chain that we created at the beginning of this round and this is what it looks like so now I'm going to show you um, the next row and yes so the next round is a round of front post and back post double crochets so now for the next row we are going to chain three one two and three and this counts as our first double crochet and then in the next stitch which is this stitch we are going to be creating a front post double crochet so wrap your yarn around your hook and go around your double crochet from the previous row so instead of going into um, the top loops of this stitch like you would you are going to go around it like this so pop your hook through like this pull up a loop and then just complete your double crochet like you would um, usually and this is your front post double crochet and now for the back post double crochet you are going to wrap your yarn around your hook and this is in, in the next um, double crochet so this is a double crochet from the previous row into which we are going to be working a back post double crochet we're gonna go through the back like this so just go through the back and around and pull up your yarn like this and create your double crochet and this is what it looks like now you are going to go into the next stitch and place a front post double crochet like this and then in the next stitch a back post double crochet like this and then into the next stitch a front post double crochet and then into the next stitch a back post 
double crochet and in the next a front post double crochet and then in the next stitch a back post and just carry this on until you reach um, the first double crochet that we did for this row and I'll show you how to finish this off. So I finished this round, I'm just going to slip stitch through this first chain 3 that we did at the beginning of this round and now for the next round chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 and this counts as your first double crochet and what we are going to be doing now is alternating um, front and back post double crochet so meaning when you see a front post double crochet like here from the previous row you will be placing a back post double crochet into that and then when you see a back post double crochet in this stitch here place a front post double crochet into it <coughs> And then when you see a front post double crochet from the previous row, place a back post double crochet into that. And then when you see a back post double crochet, place a front post double crochet into that. And then when you see a front post double crochet, place a back post double crochet into that. So you see it's very simple. Um, just alternate front and back post double crochet until you reach the end of this row and then I'll show you what to do after that. So I'm back and I'm just going to briefly show you the end of this row so just slip stitch. There we go and now just repeat the process that I've just showed you alternating um, rows of back post and front post double crochets until you have nine rows in total of double crochets on this um, sleeve cuff including um, the first quote unquote normal row of um, double crochet so you should have nine rows in total of double crochets on this sleeve so I'm just going to let you go ahead and complete these rows alternating um, front and back post double crochets and then I'll meet you back to show you how to finish off this project. So I finished both my sleeves, I love this project so obviously I fastened off and tidied up my loose ends I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you so much for tuning in, don't forget to subscribe and see you soon, bye bye!